Breaking news, Lekki toll gates. Mothers protest in Lagos, insist their children died. Hello, my wonderful people, it's happening. Babajide Sanwolu wanting to be good in the face of those who are killing Nigerians because he's a politician, lied, okay? So say that the report of the NSAS is unsubstantial, that how can they say people died? There is no evidence. My dear, mothers, okay, are the ones protesting because Lai Mohammed came out to say fake news, eh, fake news, blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, Festus Keyamu, Minister of Labor and Employment, go and ask him who has been employed, apart from himself, who has been employed since he became the minister. Lies upon lies. Now, mothers are the one protesting, saying, indeed, our children died. So what are you talking about? Coming out to tell us nothing happened? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news, Lekki Togate. Mothers protest in Lagos insist their children died. Mothers who claim to have lost their children to the Lekki Togate children have protest in Lagos. The anger, the anger and bitter mothers protest in front of the deputy governor's residence in Ikoyi on Thursday, December the 2nd. Recall that the Lagos state government recently rejected the findings of the judiciary panel of inquiry that nine persons were killed. Some mothers who said they have lost their children to the Lekki Togate protest in Lagos state, specifically the women, which was led by Juliana, one of the NSAS protesters, mothers, Governor Babajide Sanwolu invited for a peace walk, staged the protest in front of the deputy governor's residence in Ikoyi. The women could be heard in a video shared by the Guardian singing direct song and challenging the Lagos state governor. Recall that the Lagos state government recently rejected the findings of the Judiciary Panel of Inquiry that nine persons were killed at the Lake Hito Gate on October the 20th, 2020. According to the 41-page white paper released by the state government, the report of the panel which said nine deaths were recorded at the Lekki Gate on 20th October 2020 was rebluffed because the panel offered no explanation regarding the circumstances of their death. The position was, however, not go, has not gone down well with millions of Nigerians who have accused the government of cover up. Meanwhile, the following, following the protest by the mothers, many Nigerians have disclosed their displeasure on how the Lagos state government handled the panel's finding. In his reaction, Tunde Akinde wrote on Facebook, this is the beginning of the end for this administration. Injustice cannot go on. Let the, let the lack of these machineries of death go down their town. Mayhem and threat will also follow them. I mean, very, very bad, you know. Somebody else said, all of you claiming no one was killed. You said you wanted to see relatives of the dead. Now you said they have, that they are paid, they have paid their rent. Why are they now coming out? Can you for once listen to yourself? You mean a panel of government set up themselves. The same people deny what the panel came up with. Another one, Olu Kunle Solomon said, this is, good. this is good move. At least the government will be able to get the face of those who they said never died. These are their mothers. Another one, Shegun Glorious wrote, there is need to further prove, right? Here is your evidence. Here is your proof. Liars. I mean, a lot of people have different reactions in respect to Lagos state government lying to the whole world. Okay, in order for them to get their way. It's a shame, a big one if you ask me, a massive shame that our government today can lie to the face of every person, look at people in the face and really truly lie to them. Mothers have come out to say this really happened. I thought Lai Muhammad said he wanted to see those who lost their children. There's your evidence, Lai Muhammad. Take it and run with it. We want to see what you will do. Now that you have the people. Should I tell you what happened to Babajide? They just gave him a call. 
he better discredit, discredit that report because he does not want to indict the Nigerian army, you see. So they are working together. In the first place, who gave the order? Who asked the army to go to where people are protesting peacefully? Was, did they say there was a situation of war or something? The answer is no. Rajide Sanwolu, you may want to contest for second tenor, right? Unless by some miracle somebody install you again like they did in the first tenor. You know, Ambode told Nigerians that, uh, watch out, uh, you know, he, what he said, he did not say it in, this, in secret. He said it in the open. He said, this guy is not trustworthy. In America, he was detained. He was this, he was that. He told Nigerians, and he told them, I am saying this to you categorically. This was what, this is what has happened to this guy. This is who he is. These are his antecedents. This is the person. So please, eh, don't go and make a mistake. He told Nigerians, did he tell us? He did. Here we are. Mm. Before our very eyes, look at what is going on. You know, before our very eyes, this is what is happening now. Before our very eyes, we can see people coming out to say, this really indeed happened. Okay? They are coming out to say, indeed, it happened. So what's going to be the way? What are we going to do? Are we going to just sit back and pretend that this never happened? The answer is no. Did it happen? Yes. Did it happen? Yes. So this is the very, this is the new, this is the thing now that we are experiencing. A government that lied to their own people. A government that takes laws into their hands and lie in the face of all that is going on. They want proof. There is their proof. They should take the proof and uh, eat it. Because of Ajide Sanwulu, you can tell that this man, he lies conveniently. And some of them, they go to church, they go to mosque. I don't know how their conscience frees them to be able to do such things. You're doing the wrong thing with confidence and you're quite happy. You're quite fine. There's no cause for alarm. It's very worrying. You know, it's very disturbing that their heart is like a rock. Okay. You know, this thing is wrong. Yet you are pretending. Yet you are going about as if all is well. It's really sad. You see, people did lose their lives. The, the hospitals all around that lucky area will be able to tell what really happened that day. But there is God. Remember, patience? Good luck, Abele Jonathan. There is God. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Have a lovely day from us. It's a good day from here. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.